The reason why you probably won't see a complete compression of software where it's just a, an agent and a database is because there's a lot of logic in the workflow and in the, the company's specific sort of business process that needs to be built into that and around that database. As an example, within Box, if you share you know, documents with people, you want to make sure only the right document goes to the right people. And you can't ever have a situation where the wrong salary information goes to the wrong person. And so that means that access controls and permissions and data governance really matters a lot. And so it's very hard to abstract that away and just have the agent do all the work because the agent will make a mistake 1% of the time and it will share the wrong thing with somebody or will open up an access privilege to the wrong person. And so you want there to be a separation between the parts of your software that are deterministic where you know 100% of the time it's going to do the exact same thing every single time from the parts of the software that are non-deterministic, where mm -hmm. it's, it, you know, it's going to be 1% or 2% different every time you ask the question, every time you share the data, every time it generates a report. And so anybody who sort of thinks that the deterministic part goes away and it gets shoved into the non-deterministic part mm. probably doesn't really understand what the purpose of enterprise software is or, or what systems of record are. Um, there's a, there, our, our CTO, I think, came up with this line. I, I don't know the exact origin, but he said, AI agents can't keep a secret. Um, and, and the way to then think about that is you can't pack in all of your security or all of your access controls or all of your business logic into the agent because the agent will, will share that with the wrong person. It'll make a mistake. And so you have to have this sort of separation of duties between your systems.